What's up, Dandy Crew? It's Dandy Drew here, and just so happens, I have a special guest joining me in person. Hey, what's up, what's up? The one and only Delighted. Why don't we do a coaching session, which is actually the first piece of content we did, but we'll do a coaching session in person this time. You've got some good guns here to, to help you out. All right, let's do this. All right, we have a board. Dylan, okay. what do you see, what do you like? So in the fourth, uh, we're playing fourth here. I think that I could easily see that someone is gonna take this, someone's gonna take this, it's pretty strong. Um, I, th I think someone could either take 6-4-3 or 6-4-11. That's going to change up the board quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Also, yep. there's also a total of, like, there's actually a decent amount of wheat on this board. There's one, two, three. Someone's going to take this. Someone might take this or this. Um, if they take this, it locks it down. There's also this over here. So there's actually a lot of wheat on this board over here. And I'm seeing that there's, um, there's actually, the sheep is semi-rare. Hence, there's only uh, this 4 8 10 over here. It's 3 4 over here. And then it, you know, it goes down to this and this. Actually, um, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, in terms of rarity, actually... The wood. Yeah. The, the wood, wood is, is very interesting here. Yes. Right. Since there's basically like three spots maximum and it's four, eight, ten, maybe even nine, four, eleven, or if they do nine, ten, eleven, it locks it down. Well, if, well, okay. Yeah. There's, there's basically two, like three spots, one, two, and then three over here. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's actually like, there's multiple spots for brick. There's one, two, and then three, and then maybe four over here. So actually, I think that um, this two, five, ten is going to be open at a pretty high frequency. And this wheat port down here is actually going to be very useful. So I think that like the four eight ten person here is gonna be pretty happy with this over here with the two five ten. Um, that's but yeah, good. us in the fourth position, I think someone's gonna go here, someone's gonna go here, and then in, it depends a little bit where on third position uh, where they go. Since I could see someone in third maybe taking this to lock down the rare wood or something like that, or even taking something like this, um, the three four six, anticipating to get to the uh, four eight. But the thing is, that's the problem with this is five nine ten. I could easily see taking four eight and upgrading this and playing or reach sheep game like that. Mm -hmm. So. Um, it just really depends on where third position would go. Ooh, Ooh. that messes up the board a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh, that's risky, huh? Yeah, since the the problem with this is the nine ten to eight ten is actually very appealing. Um, I mean, you're you're getting the best or the best wheat. Yep, yep. And, and the ten eight expansion. Yeah, and this is a very strong expansion over here. And I can see that, like, uh, yeah, that's, that's just very strong. My my, and I've, we've talked about this a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm really big about especially first and second getting flexibility. Yes. And this is screaming inflexible for multiple reasons. Mm -hmm. Now, it is three different resources. It's not the highest producing spot. Mm -hmm. But you're kind of putting your money really on a road settle that, that's not even guaranteed. Yep. Like, you shouldn't, you you don't have to do that. Yeah. It's it's a risk that you probably don't need to take. So I'm curious. In first position, I would probably take something along the lines of 5, 9, 10 or 8, 4, 10. But mm -hmm. more likely, uh, I'll take the 8, 4, 10. Because I, like I think that. at a high, you get this at a very high frequency. And it's a pretty flexible setup with the, with the wheat port, with the 3, 1. Yes. In second position, would you still take the five, nine, ten double wheat since it's only two resources? Well, we're gonna have to see how the board. Yeah, we're gonna see how the board plays out. I really like this, the nine six three. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it offers. Well, it's three unique resources. It's high production, mm -hmm. and the wood's really nice if you look at all your pairing options mm -hmm. as far as with brick. So I'm curious, would you go ahead and point your left road left over here? And pointing your road left. The thing is, is that uh, it can get you plowed to the six two. Exactly. But I think there's a, almost a higher chance someone does a two five ten and leaves you alone. And if you get this three one with the six nine three, it actually is a very big uh, upgrade. So he, this is kind of like a meta thing, right? It's mm -hmm. like sometimes when new newer players see plow, mm -hmm. they take they, plow. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, they like to, they like to, you know. And honestly, I I don't think ten nine two to six two is bad. Like yeah, you're picking up the port and you're picking up the best wood on the board. Yep. yep. So. Frankly, I think pointing left is too risky. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so six five eleven. That's it gives a lot more. Okay, there's a. I think that's a decently strong pick since I guess your outs are still gonna be some type of like six nine three eight four three, um, mm -hmm. and they still have this brick board over here. But I actually don't think very many people take the five nine twelve. So this is actually gonna be a race for a nine point spot. Unless someone does, but I don't, I don't see what the five nine twelve pairs very well with. Unless you decide to do like you know, all wheat strategy, go to the wheat port. But that's that's a bad idea. There's also this interesting idea of six eleven twelve, road road to the nine twelve and kind of race them. There, there, there is, there is. But it's like you get the break port and you get the nine twelve. It's not the world's worst. I think you decision. can induce a beginner to do that. Ooh. Oh, what did you decide <laughs> to do that? What the heck? <laughs> okay. All right. Do I have to tell you or? Uh, yeah. I'll let you. I'll let you. I'll let you. So decide. I think um, with this idea over here, I'm seeing there's several good ideas. So I think Drew. I think you know you would like something like the. I could see a side by side idea where you do something like this and this, um, and go to the eight ten. Or also there's also the sheep port over here. Mm -hmm. Um, you can also just play a more fundamental. Uh, you could also straight up just do the nine ten 
plus uh, to the A10 with some strong orbit sheep. Mm-hmm. Like, if I was to supplement this, yeah, something like this plus this, I think would be decent if you can expand here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the problem is, I think, uh, yeah, I could see people wanting just straight up uh, green or blue, just straight up building on the A10. Probably not, though. I could also just see a version where we do the 693 plus the 6411 uh, with the coordinated sixes. Um, so those are all the options. That, uh, those are like many of the options that I see. I also see like a sheep port version where you can straight up just do an ori like a quasi ori sheep with the wood and just build over here too. I think that's also that's also we also have the wood port um and the sheep port. So I think these are all strong options. Yeah, I so, like the fact that you're floating around the six nine three though. Like yes. you're kind of feeling. So this is like the concrete pick over here. Yeah, and then and like then, you're trying to play with the different yep, pairing yep. options. And also we can straight straight up also just do um six nine three plus six four three. There's also six nine three plus three ten eleven. So there's actually quite a few options here. So uh there's so many different options yeah okay so i agree with the 643 or sorry the, sorry the um, yeah 693 693 and i think we actually do point left here to the 62 it that, that does change things now there is the question of you getting the sheet port what mm-hmm. value does that play i think it does well it depends yeah actually, i don't think we should lock in over here um but since if we decide to do 843 then it's um it's it's redundant roads yeah okay so i like this now the before we drop the road, I think we have to figure out where we want to go. Yes, we should figure out. I, I think it makes a lot of sense. If you're going to take the best wood, you might as well get the best brick too, right? Yes. So we, I think we're pretty confident the brick makes a lot of sense. Yes. So if that if that's the case, um, I think we can either do this. Uh, yeah, we probably take... So I actually think pointing right is the right play here. And is it because of you taking this, expecting to get 8-3 plus this sheet port over here? Well, the, the, the reality is any of these spots we get, we're going to get the 3-1 to go with it, right? So we already got a port... To, Right, so it's like, if you think of the priorities, wouldn't you rather go six four three to eight four? Yes, as your three one option, and then have potentially the sheep port in your back pocket. Yes, I, I would. So yeah, let's just think about where other people would go. Since I think orange, I, I, with, when orange makes a mistake like this, I think that I guess they might take something like this or even this. Mm-hmm. Let's just say like, let's just say they take the three four eight. But I, I think it's hard to predict where orange is going to go. But let's just say they go here, and then green and blue, they both this. Yeah, they need sheep, right? They probably need sheep. I guess my fear is that like let's I, mean, I could see green taking 910 to 810 and then blue I think the chances they take the 84 is actually pretty low in in hindsight. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, pointing left, even if you lose the 84, let's say, yeah. does two things. A, you still the have board the opens up yeah. and you have the best wooden brick. So yeah, you get to ca- you get the wait, one And then the 83 is always open anyways. Yes, yeah. Right? So it's like you're not So it's hard to get punished from just pointing left. That's correct. So and because of that we always be double up on the sheep. Yeah. And this just and this is leads to like a very strong orbit sheep, or like ooh, just it leads to a very strong balance setup overall. Right, and there might be a good shot that there were two roads away from an open three hex spot, right? Whether it's three ten eleven, yeah. the nine four eleven, six eleven twelve, mm-hmm. it's just too good. Yeah, and yeah. I, I think for a lot of newer players, five resources, high production, multiple ports, a three one in a sheep port, mm-hmm. just offers too much. Yeah, in yeah. my opinion, yeah. this is like. This is a crushing setup yeah. for us. And, and just like we said, like thinking if the board's going to go on the coast, like now if someone goes 8-4, you are going to dominate yeah. with yeah. the sheep. Because, yeah, because yeah, there's, the road so, there's so many expansion spots. This, this, or, or this, or even this over here. Yeah. So Orange decides to do this. I think that this, yeah, I think it's just too low production. I yeah. see the idea of trying to play an Orbit sheep with the 810 and this wheat. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, whenever I see this, I think like they're basically just like the, the, my personal bank whenever I trade with them. Um, yeah, this makes sense for green to do to get all five resources. Um, yeah, and blue's saying, "Orange, you get what you're do- going for," but it's a mistake. Um, yeah. <laughs> and blue's over here says, it. "Yeah, it's." Exactly, I mean, it's a mistake. funny coming from blue, right? But yeah, uh, yeah. and I guess for them, they take the brick, or we're, it could even be six, eleven, twelve point left to pick up the sheep. Yeah, I could also see a world where they decide to do like nine, ten, eleven, or something like that. But the problem with that is you just don't have a good way to offload the yeah, wheat. Yeah, yeah. And also, if you get stuck over here, you just um, you just get screwed over. Or even 6, 11, 12 to the brick port. Yeah, so I, I could see that too. 6, 11, 12 to the brick port. 8, 4 is too slow, I think. And try to build like maybe like backwards over here. Now, looking at this, I have to admit, I actually do like green setup too. Like yeah, it, I if think you it's, look at it's it, quite it, strong. It, high production, all five resources, mm-hmm. the second best wood, the best brick, the best wheat, the best sheep. And there's also a lot of very strong expansion spots for green. There's yeah. a sheep port. They also have a 3-1 port. There's a 5-9-12 spot. That's nine points. There's also this 
6, 11, 12, and they have the uh, brick port potentially here. I, th I think a critical move is, well, it depends where blue go. Uh, blue goes, but I think this 9, 4, 11 is actually going to be very critical in terms of a road network. That's smart, yeah. So I think it's helpful to look at like, okay, so green's going to be our biggest competitor. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, everyone else is just, just kind of screwed in this game already. Yeah. We're pressing buttons, as we say. Yeah, clicking <laughs> buttons. Clicking buttons. So I think it would be helpful for our game plan to really be about how do we slow down green, whether it's taking those expansion spots. Probably should have pointed right there. Yeah, exactly. You. Yeah. Like I think if they did, like they'd be very, very happy. Uh, it's a little bit. Ooh, nice. So this worked out, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of what we planned, which was the eight fours open. The eight threes open. Mm -hmm. Also, now that we know green is staring at the sheep port, mm -hmm. do we want to do we want to race them? Is one of the questions too strategically. Yeah. Do we want to give them more options? Not I think sure. that I, I'm not entirely sure since let's say what's what's happening here is if we do decide to beat green um, for the sheep port, mm -hmm. um, like they're going to have extra roads that they're going to want to spend somewhere Ooh, else. Ooh, he doesn't okay, go for it. Three, one. But I think that like um, maybe potentially locking down the 9, 4, 11 might be more important uh, in this, in, in, compared to the sheep port. So our, our hand is like, um, okay, so we're looking for green's hand is right now like a lot of sheep. Uh, we don't really need extra sheep. And he has one wheat. Uh, and, yeah, they do have one wheat. And also, but I think that uh, in general, just, since green's the strongest position, I think blocking something like this is actually not bad. I like it. Uh, just because we know... It, yeah. slops, it stops or yeah. settles. Yeah, and they already have a wheat in hand. But I guess you could also argue to block the five wheat and hoping to jack their wheat, but that's nah, whatever. We're getting a... I think we're getting a, a wheat or sheep here, right? Yeah. I got the sheep. Yeah. Okay. that's That makes sense. Now we have to commit a road somewhere or we can hold. I actually... Well, I'm going to let you decide. Yeah, I you're think, you're I think, driving this here. Yeah. So I don't think we should uh, hold a road here since we're at six cards. I think we should commit a road. Correct. Uh, but there's 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 several options. The 8-4 eight, the eight is the one that looks the most appealing to me. 8-3 um, is okay. 8-3 uh, is okay. It's the, and it's, I think it's strong since we double up on the ore, we get the sheep. But since 8-4 uh, just cleans up our uh, production a lot more, it's just a lot more flexible. And the last option is just going up here. So the two options I'm really considering is 8-4 and the 3-9, uh, or this this spot over here. I think the safest moves by far is just going to the 8-4. Yeah. And I think it's just, um, we just get the, the high production. So that's what I'm going to do. Go for it. Would you, would you over here, do you think dropping the road over here is better? Hence, it feels extremely, extremely awkward Ooh, to do this. Nice too. Yeah, nicely done by Orange. But they're still, they're still pretty like dead inside this game. Yeah. Oh, you'll probably, I was going to say, you might he might be able to sell that ore to Orange for that wood. Yeah, you know, I, there's a there's a case for the three one. Obviously, it's it's mm -hmm. a great port, it's great production. Yes, threes are so nice. And then there's also something to be said about playing. I don't want to say defensively, but mm -hmm. taking the sheep port straight up because look, we actually have a really good sheep port game. Yes, we do. Like we we're do. concerned about him having the sheep port eight four and the three. Mm -hmm. Like that's a lot, a lot yeah. of sheep. So. If we're more concerned about green, taking the sheep port is a really good play for us in that regard because it, it's going to balance the board in our favor. But yeah, that makes sense. Like, because the only way we lose 8 4 in this situation mm -hmm. is if blue pulls like a road builder. Yeah, yeah. But then the question is do they even want 8 4? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe they would take the center. I decided to take, I decided the, the thought process behind this, and feel free to critique it, mm -hmm. is that, yeah, we're just going to. We're gonna have a lot of excess resources. Correct. And um, I mean, we're mostly gonna be putting three for one sheep over here, and uh, yeah, and it's because of all that like Ooh. the high amount of excess resources, um, you know, is why I like it. Uh, over here, let's see if I can. I think we just take this. I like it. Yeah, especially yeah. since orange is our bank, and we we get like wood brick at a one one ratio. So you know, and, and exactly, it's like when you get your wood, you get the brick. Yeah. Anyways, so right? we don't so we don't need any extra. So it's any trade that like yeah, it's pretty nice. All right. So, so in this position, we can, there's several things. Yeah, we, we don't, I, I think we just settle over here, but if there are considerations to just buy D and hold the road. Um, I think this, yeah, I'll let you, but, I'll but let I, you decide. I, I think we just dropped this. Uh, I think we just dropped the settle though. I think it's just, um, it's, it's too, too strong production. Yeah. It's eight points and yeah, we're just, we're kind of just doing good. Yeah. I mean, more than good. <laughs> yeah. And I think we can also try, uh, try to do something like this too with orange. Since they do, they do need a sheep. Ah, uh, okay. But, we, but you, you're gonna say we probably should have done it earlier before we traded. Correct. Which, which, which I, which I agree with. Yeah. So that's a really good principle. Let's pull a mono here. Or there you go. go. Oh wow. 
All right. That's why you're good at Look, this. I've paid the devs. They... <laughs> All so right. yeah, that's a really good concept, right? Is is threat yes, levels yes. understanding like as soon as you make that subtle, I mean, of course, you know, apparently they're throwing the game. Yeah, <laughs> but well, they threw the game with the first place with both both of their placements. Yeah, every single move they made was so far as a mistake. But the idea is, <laughs> as soon as you make that subtle, your threat levels go up. Yes, therefore, yeah. your tradeability goes down. Yes, I agree. I agree. I, I should have done it before. I just I just literally can't see the cards. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. All right, so yeah, never seen someone to play as poorly as you. Say sorry, I'm trying to get better. Okay, so we get solo, uh, so we get solo blocked here, and rightfully so, if I'm being honest. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, in this position. Mm -hmm. You can simply just pass um, or to drop a road. And I think the best move is just to pass. Like, I don't think there's any good idea or reasons to drop a road here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So a big thing we're about here is objectives, right? Yes. We have different objectives at different stages yes. of the game. All right. What's your objective? What's your next one to two objectives? And kind of... We'll I, still, I think now with this 8-4, I think this 3-1, three, three, or this sheet port over here is also important. And also, if we can get enough... Uh, Nice if deal. we can if if we can roll multiple sixes, I think it's actually very very worth it to commit roads to up here to the four nine eleven, especially since we have the three to one port, so we're actually able to process all these cards, and especially as soon as we as soon as we get this over here, um, I think we can upgrade the six four three, and it makes it so our wood brick ratios oh. are actually kind of even. Oh man, yeah, I don't I really don't like uh, like that block. I think it should have been us, um, for sure. Well, it was just unnecessary, right? Yeah. To play an aggressive knight when it's not even on you. Yep. Yeah. So we'll take wheat rolls if he's going to give it to us. Yeah. Yeah. And this is this is a really nice benefit of having the 3-1 here, right? Mm -hmm. Is now you can start to offload some of that extra sheep. Yep. And the and the mono, uh, the mono too is actually is actually very very nice too since um we're able to, with the 3-1 the mono uh, is improved a little bit more. I think we uh we could get something like two wheat here. Let's try something like this. Yeah. Just yeah. to uh this just, just gives us a 3-1. Um, yeah, I think like a three one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And I think in this position we can just probably just uh, port for an or. Oh, well, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. But 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 yeah yeah. Let's. All right. So we have a principle, everyone, which is okay, okay. there's always going to be two to three options. Yes, right? So yes. you got to consider this out now. We don't have a lot of time. There's a lot of wood on this board. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we could potentially get a road settle with a wood trade. Yeah. Right. So if you did like something like let's say a wheat and a wheat and sheep for a wood this is what we call a greed trade so i do a wheat and a sheep for wood yeah doing two cards i just I'll offer this over here really i guess the only person that might take this would be orange yeah but i don't i don't think orange takes this though that's fine but it's good to at least acknowledge yeah, like yeah. what are my options yes yes i think another uh okay I'm just gonna go ahead and um, port for an ore and pop uh, buy dev card in this position. Yes, I think that's the best way to process our hand. But yes, yeah, so you're right. We we should try to trade. Right. Another thing was I think we could, um, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think in this position we just probably just pass. Mm -hmm. I'm also very much eyeing the uh, four and eleven. Actually, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I mean, we've got to consider too, like what's going to be our path to victory. We're buying knights. We have the mono. Mm -hmm. We might not even need it. Yeah, to be honest true. with you, that's nice. A lot of wood on this board. Yep. Jeez. So, as far as using the mono, mm -hmm. kind of what do you anticipate we're going to do with that? I think there's several things we can want. I think uh, one, we're beginning, just going to be able to, like, like we can easily city multiple times, mm -hmm. especially whenever the 10 rolls. There's like, there's three ore over here that I'm looking forward to. I also just see, see if we get on the sheet port, there's, um, there's a lot of really strong sheet monopolies yes. we can do from green. And in general, just because we have a three for one, we're just very flexible. So just making sure to just uh, track pretty precisely and you know, having a pretty fat mono is nice overall. You take those. Yeah. <laughs> I usually like to advocate to be very patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Ooh, I think this is, is when... Oh, okay. he decides to do defensive red. Okay. So in light of this, there is... Yeah, I think that's kind of smart. Yeah. So I'm going to play a uh, knight card over here. Yeah. And I think that there's... If we're looking for wood, I think blue um, blue has wood. Um, 
We can also just simply just jack from green. Yeah. Well, they did drop two rows, right? Yes. Yeah. It, it's just because like the farther ahead, but I think we get more useless cards from green. So I think that like this is also this is a good block. This is also a good block. Well, um, probably the five. Yeah. Kind of probably, yeah. Yeah. And then I think that we I think we can we jack blue we through. I think they have like more useful resources, but they also do have wheat, which does make our hand like kind of useless. And they also do have a city, but I think green has more strong longer term potential in this game. I don't know if they have wood in their hand anymore though. Blue only, or uh, green? No, yeah, I don't. I don't think they. I don't think they do. I think their hand is pretty useless. So I'm just gonna jack from blue. Yeah, I got the wheat, which is the more common card. Yeah. So, so what do you what do you do? You, what do you think is the best? Uh, do we still go jack from blue, open for that one wood, or do we simply jack from green here? To defend at like this one potential settlement spot, I, I'm I'm okay hitting blue. I think it, getting the the woods actually quite nice here. Okay, yeah, cool. Let's go plucking. There's a good chance we get another wheat though, uh, but yeah, let's. If we do get another wheat, would you ever port the wheat here? No, no, I don't, I don't think so. No, no. Okay, we there got the wood. Okay, All right, so so there's there's a few options here, right? We have the road settle. Yeah, we have the eight three. We can drop two roads over here. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also drop two roads over here to the six eleven twelve. Mm -hmm. The thing with going to this nine four eleven is it is production. Oh, oh. I got a. <laughs> thanks, um, thanks, Scott. Um, the the thing with going over here is that we we're double committing our roads over here. So right. we're committing roads over here, and we're committing roads over here. And if green plows us, then it kind of sucks for our road path. So I'm mm -hmm. curious what you think is the best move here, since I see there's there's a lot of options over here. This Re is probably the best for road. Really, path. I'm looking at the road settle on the six or the eight three. Hmm. And how did you come up to that decision? Well, the thing with the six is it's just another point, yes. right? So a big thing with road games is you want fast points. Yeah. Right? And because we have the mono, we can rely on the mono to drop the cities. Yes, yeah. So yeah. in my opinion, I think getting the fast point mm -hmm. while it's guaranteed and knowing that blue is probably not going to beat you the 8-3 anyways. Yes, they're, they're probably. I think it makes a lot more sense to just get this point mm -hmm. before he plows you. Yeah, yeah. And also, yeah, I, I guess since um, the spot we upgrade is a 6-4-3, so doubling up on the six just makes it so we have double reds here too. Yeah, and then when we city this, the six is just going to be a monster. Yeah, yeah. So I'm also thinking when I make that play, I'm thinking about the potential of green if they plot us. Yeah, and that's, and yeah, it would make it so it's very annoying to get red. Yeah, because now we've given them access. Some interesting blocks, we will say that. I think they like, should be solo blocking us. Oh, but, yes, yes, absolutely. I'm not, I'm not saying that, but I mean, it's like the wood just rolled and you yeah, blocked yeah, the wood, yeah, right? Yeah, the, Versus yeah. maybe hitting one of the rare resources. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. <laughs> What's well, delighted playing? Yeah, so. I'll be like, it's delighted. Relax. Yeah, we, we we can't play fast. So, yeah. like to me, because we have the mono, like mm -hmm. we let's get our fast points with the road settles while we can, mm -hmm. and then we can always use the mono to get the city plays. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Um, that brick, the six block does hurt us quite a bit, but yeah. luckily we can always pop a dev yeah. or get a yeah. knight or something. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't see road. Or army. It's pretty loose. Yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Interesting. Yeah, I think there's actually a good, strong, uh, strong oh, options for wheat monos here. I think so. I'm, I'm hoping that... Uh, would you still do a wheat mono, even if it is just like dead cards in, my, in our opponent's hand? Or do you think it's still too early? Well, you have to think of... I don't think it's necessarily too early, because you have to think... When you rip the wheat off the board, it does. It's like kind of a. Uh, let's try to dirty mine them real quick. I'd be really impressed if. Uh, let's see if there's any wood. Why not? Sheep too. Okay, let's try. Let's try for a sheep. Let's try for a sheep. You always, you always, always like. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, dang it. Okay. So if I'm not mistaken, I think we get like yeah, eleven we, or twelve. I think we get like we get a city here for sure. We get a city here for sure. Yeah. And yeah, we upgrade the eight four three. But yes, like taking away the wheat, I like to. I like to put it in video game turns. Whenever you mono wheat, it's like you, you stun lock your opponents for a single turn. Yeah, it's like now. Yeah, it's like 10 wheat. Perfect. So then. Perfect. And yeah, we actually still have a dev at the end of that. Yep, we do. So the question is where? Uh, I think like a lot of people would say it would just go ahead and buy another D first, or buy the D first, because that might change your decision. But I think I think it's always a 6 4 3. But let, let's just go ahead and buy another yep. D first. Another mono? Not VP. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's just a six four three. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like and much. now the sixes are doubled yeah. on both sides. It's, yeah. You've you've taken the ore up, so when the threes roll, we're just 
Yeah. Do I need to say anything else? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. It's like it, it's pretty hard to block you at this yeah, point. Yeah, your production will carry you the rest of the way yeah. there. And we, we just have a lot of options. You can go for armor, you can go for road. There's only one night played. We also have one night ourselves. Oof. And it's like, yeah. I, I think we just I think in this position we just go um to start buying knights. Um and there's no weed on the board, so we just I think yeah. this is the only trade we only thing option we can do. And we get another okay, yeah. Just, just, need to, just take road. Just all right, so all road settle will yeah. take road. Yeah. Oh my god. It can buy another D card too. Okay. There's one weed on board now for, for Mr. Orange. Get popping. Yeah. But I think that like the I think we won this game just uh, based off just the placements. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. just like as, as soon as Orange does this. Blue does this. It's too strong for fourth, it's right? The, it's yeah. like the pairings are too strong yeah. for something. And that's something like, yeah. And whenever, like, it sucks since, like, whenever someone else makes a mistake, it doesn't always necessarily help you. It can't help, like, a lot of other opponents. And this, this us being fourth position, we're able to take advantage of it. Yeah, this is... We can just road settle again, or we can buy another D card. I think, Honestly, probably the road settle. Yeah, just because, because like, because then... six, just, yeah. Or, or, or two sixes when we're basically there. With well, with this unblocked, yeah, yeah. I mean, everything's winning. Yeah, but I mean, this practically just puts you in a situation where you drop yeah. three roads and yeah, win the game. Just, yeah. And yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it ain't bad. Yeah. Especially with two VPs, I think it's just it's just difficult since like it's just hard for our opponents to take road. It's just pretty impossible, I think. Unless, unless green managed to, the thing is for green to build roads, they, the six needs a roll and we share the six with them. So they need like a bunch of fours to roll and tens to roll. And they need to also do like a coordinated, like, um, effort in order to do that. Yeah. But it's pretty much impossible. It, yeah. I gotta give him credit though. The, the six block is kind of like, yeah, it is a good block. It's a great block. It's coming back and forth and kind of hurting you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then man, they, right. they're just, they're just angry at each other, but yeah, they did, they did Blue has a point here that they uh, decided the game with their placements, but it's also like, you know... But I, I think you, Blue you, also did this to himself, right? Yes, exactly. By, by doing the 4-5-10, this is such a greedy play. This, this is a very, very greedy play. And this, there's a lot of... Especially at lower ELO games, you have to uh, anticipate that. The 9... In general, this... But the, in general, though, the 9-10 to the 8-10 is just a very strong, like, coastal spot. Yeah. And, especially... And look, it probably wouldn't be that attractive if there was better ore spots. Yes. But considering that's the best ore on the board, best single hex of ore. Yeah. It does make it more attractive. Exactly. And there's like, you know, just this and this combined, it's, it's very, very strong. So you have to understand that like your opponents are looking at that and don't want to just give you this for free. Yeah. So, I mean, blue can get upset about that, but it's like, yeah, you know, at a higher level, you should be, you should see those plays. Yeah. Just. Okay. So very likely, um, I think with green, I think you steal a wood here, which gives you the death. Or okay. Brick. Or brick. Yeah. And I think we just, just drop a red somewhere here. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't matter. I mean, you could even drop two if you want, unless you want to pad your hand. Uh, we can drop two. I think we can drop two, just uh, with the idea that we, we win with the single six here. Yeah. Exactly. Nice block. Nice block. Yeah. <laughs> and and at this point, we just uh, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, I mean, even if they take road, you just wrap around the four and yeah. call the day. Oh. So I get a city. It's like what's or you gotta just settle for the win now, right? Screw <laughs> it. And like that, you just block nine wheat. Yep. Another reason why development cards are nice. Yeah. And yeah, or yeah, just any any four, just we can just drop another road. Three wins. Yeah. Four wins, six wins. I think this game's a really good example of why you need to understand placement strategy. Yeah. I also I think it's just like understanding the how what you do has massive consequences on the board. It's very much, as you like to say, it's a butterfly effect. Whenever, mm. whenever you play, whenever, whenever you do something like has long lasting impacts on the game that you don't even know that happens. Like, you know, 20 turns later, this happens because of a, of a because of a mood move you made make, like turn one. Yeah. Well, the way I look, it's like, imagine everyone's driving at 60 miles per hour, but you're driving at 61. Yeah. In the early stages, you're not going to notice the speed difference. Mm -hmm. But if you look at that, that difference over time, yeah. That one mile per hour is going to make a difference, you know? Yeah. Oh, come on. So, little things add up in a game like this. Yeah. It's really a game of 1% and little 
little moves that compound. Yeah, definitely. I, I I just feel bad for Orange. Yeah. Well, also, it's it's funny, right? There's so many of these concepts. Also, another reason, you know, be careful to upset people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like Blue completely made a mistake in strategy as far as picking that mm-hmm. placement, but Orange also probably could have realized you're going to upset that player. Yeah. And also, just like also, just like another thing is this like, accountability. They're just thinking like, oh man, this is the only reason why I lost this is because of Orange. But in reality, no, it's like you lost this with your first placement. Um, but they're gonna be like, wow, it's because Orange took this. But it's you're setting yourself up to be vulnerable by taking the four, five, ten. Mm-hmm. And then we both, as soon as I took the four, five, ten, we were both like, oof, that's um, that's a little, bit, yeah. yeah, that's a mistake. It's like years of experience kind of just coming yeah. out in that moment. Oh. Also, I don't think uh, many people know this, but in Colonists, uh, you don't actually get rewarded for second, third, or fourth place. You only uh, only get rewarded for first place. But but they they do rank you by like second, third, and fourth place though, and right. it's, and uh, there's no elo difference from getting second, third, or fourth, which I like since only the winner is rewarded here. All right, and then it's just uh, just dropping the roads. All right, what a guy. Yeah, gotta make him feel good. Okay. Well, right, well, yeah, that was a pretty, so, yeah, skip. yeah, pretty fast game, really. Nice tens showing up. I mean, this is, I, th- I think for a lot of people, they would look at this game and think like, well, these are just not good players, and it's like, yeah, well, fair enough. Yeah, I, I mean, they're not. You know. But, but what is? <laughs> no, and of course, but the thing is, is there's a lot of really good examples of why things went wrong. Yes. If you're looking at the board objectively, and I think as as a growing or motivated player, it's important to be able to point out well, why did Blue not succeed this game? Why did Orange not succeed? Because mm-hmm. there's still something to learn there. Yeah. And of course, like we just picked principally really good. Like high production, flexible. We had a port that, that worked. Also, a nice little move there was going to the six. Yes, yes. I think, I think that you were right that like doubling up on this with the anticipation that we city this up to get the double sixes is actually is very, very strong. But also thinking about your opponent's threats too. Yes, yes. Since if they, if they go here, then it gets a, more, a lot more annoying for us to get road. Correct. Yeah. But... In my mind, I saw this position. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's it's very difficult for a good player to lose. Yeah. Unless the dice just go absolutely crazy. Yeah. And also, it's like blue doesn't have sheep. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah I, so it's like. When I, when I first saw this board, I'm like, I, I think blue can't win. Orange can't win. Maybe green can win. Um, They have, they have some like, decent opportunity over here if they can get the sheep port, the five, like this spot over here. Um, And then they can go over here to the four and 11. There's some decent options uh, along with the three one. But yeah, we just. We just. Our setups is just also just extremely strong too. Well, Dylan, I can see you've improved. I think you're. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Number one's in the sights for sure. Okay.